Okay, so we're going to be looking at jailbreaking the Apple TV 2. Um, this one here is upgraded to the current latest firmware is 4.4.4, uh, which has just been released. So this has been upgraded to 4.4.4 already, but we're going to be jailbreaking that anyway. So obviously you need your Apple TV, you need your original remote to put it into DFU mode and you need a small USB cable. Now you don't get this in the box, you need to purchase this separately but it's a micro USB to USB so uh, if I focus it in there you see it's a micro USB to USB so you'll need one of them. It's handy to have one of them generally just for um, whenever you want to restore your Apple TV and so on. You don't need the power supply when you're connecting this to your computer because it's small enough to take power from USB um, so you don't actually need the the power plugged in when it's plugged into your computer okay so let's get started okay so we're using the Mac platform here we need to download a season pass so if we open Safari or Internet Explorer if you're on Windows sorry so it's seasonpass.com with the O in season being a zero. That will take you to this website and then we want this link here for Mac and this link here for Windows and that will download the Season Pass jailbreaking software. So if I quit that, we've already downloaded it here. So if we run that, open and we won't bother checking for updates, put in your password then we get to this screen here Then we're going to create the IPSW so create the actual firmware and that will download the firmware from the website so this will take a few minutes so we're back in a few minutes as soon as this has downloaded okay so now that's downloaded it will go through patching the file system and extracting the file it's downloaded and so on so we just need to wait for that to complete okay so now it's looking for the Apple TV and it needs it to be in DFU mode so we have the Apple TV here we've got the USB cable connecting to the, into the back ignore this cable for now it's just my external uh, firewire drive so we're going to plug this cable in via USB that's plugged in as I said it gets its power from USB and with the remote we press the play and menu buttons together for seven seconds okay so we've found the it's found the device it's entered DFU mode and now it's uploading the IPSW file onto the uh, Apple TV so now it will open iTunes and begin the restore so I'm not actually touching anything at the moment this is uh, actually choosing everything itself so now it should go through and complete the rest of the restore via iTunes and this should take a few minutes so I'll be back as soon as it's done okay so we've got to this screen where it says the Apple TV has been restored to factory settings disconnect from your computer and reconnect to the TV so um, if we go back across to here we'll see iTunes restore script successful and click done to this and we're all finished so I'm going to unplug the Apple TV now and connect it into my TV screen and uh, we'll see if the jailbreak was successful okay so the Apple TV is now connected to this monitor here via HDMI so it's connected into the external power source and HDMI as normal we're going to select English that's telling us how to continue so we ignore that I'm going to connect to this wireless network
So it's now connected to the wireless network and it's now activating and automatically sets the date and time. So we click no thanks to sending Apple information. And we get through to the screen here. Now you can see the FC logo in the bottom right corner that shows that the Apple TV has now been jailbroken. So everything else looks the same for the moment. Um, however, the FC down the bottom bottom right corner that you can see proves that it is a jailbroken device. So what I'll do now is I'll go away and uh, set up XBMC on this, which was my primary reason for jailbreaking. Um, but there we go. So that was jailbreaking of the Apple TV 2 using uh, with firmware 4.4.4. Okay, so now that we've jailbroken our Apple TV, we're going to install XBMC on the Apple TV. To do that, you need to SSH into your device. So it's SSH root at and then the IP address of your Apple TV. You can get that by switching on your Apple TV, going into uh, the network settings and retrieving the IP address. The root password will be Alpine, A-L-P-I-N-E, -E, and then it will bring you to this screen where we will type apt-get-update and that will refresh the repository so that's 50% this takes a while because it's the first time I'm actually doing it. Okay, so once the get update is complete, we then type in apt dash get install org dot xbmc dot repo. Okay, once that's done, we apt and get update to refresh the repository again. Okay, and finally we go apt get install org dot xbmc dot xbmc dash atv2. Now say, do you want to continue? We type yes and install these packages without verification. We select yes again. And then it will install XBMC. Now this can take uh, a few minutes, so we'll come back as soon as it's done. Okay, so it's downloaded XBMC completely. It's now unpacking the uh, actual download and installing it onto the Apple TV 2. Okay, so if I now come back across to my Apple TV, I'm just going to switch it on. It's just gone to sleep here. So if I switch the Apple TV on, we can see, if I go across, XBMC is installed. And it was as simple as that. So that's installed XBMC onto the Apple TV. And if I launch it here, we can see that we've got the full XBMC here. So you can now go ahead and attach it to your NAS or your other content that's stored on the network and stream straight to your Apple TV.